try this. Um, were you admiring the M135 us? Good, I was too. I like the little car. Welcome to TAL. This car is quite perfect to be honest, but no car is perfect. And here are seven things that I hate or dislike about my M135. How nice is this lighting right now actually? The sun is like just behind the cloud. Wait, let me show you. Look at that. Ah, that's so nice. Anyway, the first thing that I legitimately hate about this car with my entire heart is uh, the, the fuel consumption. It's rather ridiculous. Look, I have had three cars with this engine before, N55s. Um, the older shape 335i's. The one I had, okay, no, no, I had two. The first one was an N54, the other two were N55s. One was stock, one was not stock. The stock one used to think that fuel was free. And this one thinks fuel is free. It's, uh, it's ridiculous. Unbelievable. Look, once they tune and they worked, you get diesel consumption. Really not too bad at all. But if you do not tune this car, BMW claim, let's let's give them the benefit of the doubt. Let's say they claim higher than what they actually claim. They claim 7.5. Let's say they claimed 8 liters per 100 Ks. So if you drive very nicely, extremely nicely, you're supposed to get, let's say, 9.5, 9 liters per 100 Ks. <sighs> Goodness, I wish I wish that was that was the truth. If I drive extremely nicely, I mean Eco Pro the whole time and everything, I struggle to get 12 liters per hundred Ks on this car. I, I'm telling you, I, I just it's just ridiculously heavy and they all are like that. Nothing's wrong with it. I've had a few. They are all like that. It's insanely heavy. Once you work them and you know change the software and stuff, take the catalytic converters out, then you can get 10 liters per hundred Ks quite easily. But normally, if you hammer this car and drive fast, you will get 20 liters per 100 Ks. I understand it's a 3 liter inline 6 with turbo and it's not supposed to be light on fuel, but it's abnormally heavy. Why are they all this heavy? It's insane, man. All right, on to the second thing. Okay, the next thing I'm going to show you, uh, no fat jokes. I understand I'm not a small person and I do have quite a large backside. I understand that, but you see the way these doors are shaped. It has a slight curve towards the front of the car. It's not straight, it's like curved. I'm sure you can see that. If you open the door and you get inside, you see this pillar right here. It's also curved. It's not straight like it is on most cars. So when you decide to jump in, your butt tends to rub against this part, especially if you sit a little more back. If you want to jump in, you actually have to like go more towards the front end. Your butt tends to, you know, scrape around the end. Okay, I have a big butt, but that is irritating, you know. Next up, this isn't specific to the M135. It's pretty much all BMWs. Well, not all, but let's say most BMWs generally. They have run flat tires. And I really hate that because firstly, they have more tire noise. They're harder on the road. And that means that if you open the boot and you open the cover underneath, you'll see that there's no spare wheel. Like, okay, the purpose of run flats is if you get a puncture in your tire, you can still drive for about 50 kilometers without it deflating. But South Africa, we have potholes this size. So if you hit a pothole, your tire is not going to get a puncture. It is going to be completely destroyed and ripped apart. So is the rim, so is the alloy wheel. So if you hit a pothole, you are screwed basically because you have no spare wheel. That doesn't work for South Africa, unfortunately. And it makes me nervous when I drive around because if I hit a pothole, I'm pretty much screwed. Okay, this next one, let me jump into the car and show you quickly. It's not important for most people, but for me it's quite important because when I start my car generally, I like to check the temperatures and things, you know, let the car warm up before I decide to drive a bit harder. <laughs> I don't know why. In the newer BMWs like these, they took the temperature gauge away. Hey, let me show you quickly, let me jump in. If I jump in right here, and I start the car quickly. All right, you see that right there? That's where the temperature gauge used to be. Now it's showing efficient dynamics. If I rev, if it's in gear, like it shows you your consumption basically. You'd think if you change it into like sport, it'll change. Nope, same. Sport plus, see, sport plus, there we go. It doesn't change. 
it stays there that's the battery whatever you know i don't know what efficient dynamics this is basically your consumption how you drive you put it into eco pro it's comfort eco pro it changes to show you that gauge why couldn't they make a temperature gauge i mean I know most people probably won't check it but I feel it's quite important for your car. Next up and I've complained about this in the BMW 3 Series also is the location for the boot button. I hope in the newer shapes that they fix this but in this 2016 model it's still the same. Look at this. Look where it's located. It's difficult to get to you know it's not conveniently placed and it's quite irritating every time you want to open the boot. Hopefully they change that in the new shape. And there you go. There's a few things that I dislike about my M135i. Hate is a strong word, but hate creates more tension, so it makes you want to click the video more. That's that's the main reason. It's a very good car, to be honest. One of the best cars I've driven because it's a manual, mainly. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Go watch the video that I did where I show seven things that I love about this car, or however many things I love about this car. And uh, subscribe and stay tuned for more.